Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope your day's going really well. I'm in Luminar 4 and I'm doing a workflow video. And this is a twilight photo, sort of just past sunset. And what I'm trying to do is bring back a little bit of that sunset color and kind of make the image look the way I want the image to look. Now, this is a photo I actually used in a, a video on highlights and shadows, whites and blacks a while back. And then after I finished the video, I started editing the photo and played around with it. And I was like, ooh, I kind of like it. So um, let me show you the photo. Here's the base photo, I've already cropped it, uh, 16 by nine. And then after I play with it some here in Luminar, that's my final result. And as you can see, I really was able to go from a blue hour shot to really more of a sunset shot. And I'm gonna reset these uh, all these filters and we'll hop into it. Okay, here's my base photo. Now I did do a little bit of lens and geometry just to get a little bit of the distortion out of the photo. There's the before and the after, and of course the crop. But the first thing I do is I hop into the uh, light tool here and I wanna go a little warmer, so I'm gonna go about like 8,500 or something, maybe about like that. And I'm gonna take the tint over here to about positive three or so. And that's something I do a lot, even though um, I love to move temperature to the left, it's already blue enough because it is a blue hour photo. And as I said earlier, I'm trying to bring back some of the sunset light and some of that warmth, and that's uh, why I took the temperature to the right on this one. Okay, and the next thing I need to do is just take the highlights down because they're way too bright. So. I'm gonna bring them down about like that. And you know, we haven't made a big difference in the photo, but uh, you can see it's a slight bit warmer. You can see how blue the clouds are, and now they're a little bit less warm, which is nice. And pretty soon we're gonna get some golden light into them. Okay, next is AI Enhance, and I'm gonna go about, I think I went about 59 here, and about like 19 or 20 on the sky. So I'm gonna do something about like that. Let me show you the before. There it is, a little bit darker, a little bit more in shadow, especially on that left-hand side and after, much more evenly distributed, which is really helping me, I think. Um, and I like the way the light, especially the orange light, is coming uh, sort of alive, if you will. There's before and after, it's starting to pop a little bit. And I like that because I wanna try to mirror that in the sky so that I have sort of some continuity there. And that's kind of what I'm going for in this, um, in this image. Okay, I'm gonna pop to color and give it a little bit of kick of vi vibrance. Um, a long time ago in one of my videos, I said saturation and violence, and it just cracked me up. And I still catch myself sometimes calling vibrance violence. So I gotta be careful, so bear with me. Um, okay, so the vibrance is up about 11. The thing is, there's a little too much blue. So I'm down here in the advanced settings. I'm gonna take the saturation down by about 22 or so, because it, I don't I don't wanna overdo the blue. And as I already said, I kinda wanna warm it up. But I wanna lift the the, the luminance level of the blue so that uh, the photo's a little bit brighter. So I go something about like that. So that's 54, 55, somewhere in there. Maybe, yeah, about 55. Let me show you the before and after. There's before, a little darker, a little bluer, and after, a little less blue and a little brighter. And it's brighter simply because I lifted the luminance of the blue, which is so dominant in the image. Now we're gonna pop over here to Landscape Enhancer and get Golden Hour. And I'm gonna go like 35 or something here. Um, this is just kind of warming up the tones that are already there, those warmer tones. So it's bringing out a lot uh, of what's in the buildings there, those uh, lights and the signs and all that that are in the building. So there, there's the before and after. So you can already see we're getting a little bit of that sunset color into the sky, which is looking nice. Now we're gonna hop over the Pro Tab and do a few more things. Okay, Pro Tab and Adjustable Gradient is my first filter. And I could set orientation, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is. The photo is fairly evenly divided in terms of top and bottom, uh, the way it was shot. So I'm gonna leave that alone. If you're not familiar with Adjustable Gradient, I do have a video you can watch there, which will give you some details about how to use it. I'm gonna start on the top and I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast to the top. And I'm gonna take the highlights down. Again, uh, they're just a little too bright. Uh, and I'm pulling them down a little bit, and I think that looks a little bit better. Again, I'm isolating just the top of the photo right now because I'm on adjustable gradient. And then I'm gonna take the warmth up. I'm gonna do about a 14 or so, and about a two on vibrance. Uh, and so again, top of the photo. Now we're gonna go to the bottom of the photo and do some adjustments here. I'm gonna start with contrast, about like nine, and I'm gonna lift the shadows a little bit, maybe like 15 or 16. And again, I'm balancing out the light, and that's what I like about Adjustable Gradient. It's, I think, one of the best tools. It's probably in my top five, I don't know, but um, it's definitely one of my favorite tools because it lets you divide the photo into different sections and then do various adjustments in each section. It's just really powerful, I love it. Okay, next up, highlights are coming down a little bit, and I'm gonna give a little bit of warmth here, maybe something about like 20. 
So let me show you what adjustable gradient's done for us. There's before and there's after. It's a little bit warmer. It's not a big difference, but for me, it kind of worked, but I'm not finished. I'm gonna pop in a color enhancer, one of my favorite tools, and do a few things here, and this is really gonna start to pop those colors. First, I'm gonna do brilliance and warmth, so um, I'm gonna do about a five on the brilliance, uh, and I'm gonna give it some warmth. I'm gonna go to like 22, 23, something about like that. So again, I'm working on trying to pop those warmer colors and really get that sky to stand out. Next up is color contrast, so I'm gonna go to about a nine on the amount and the hue, I'm gonna go to like a 237, I think it was, 230, let's say seven. So I talk about color enhancer and color contrast specifically in that video, but basically when I'm changing the hue and driving the contrast up, what I'm doing is I'm creating more contrast around the hue that I choose. So in this case, I'm choosing blue, so that's gonna make that hue brighter and the opposite hue darker. So it kinda brightens the blues and darkens kinda the yellow orange. So that's kinda helping me with the look that I'm going for. And then split color warmth, I'm gonna take the warm colors and make them warmer. So I'm gonna go like 42, 43, and you can see that's really starting to bring that nice warm light into the sky. And then the last little trick for that, I'm gonna go into highlights and I'm gonna go down here towards the reds and take them to about a 27, 28, something about like that. And, and I've made a big difference. Color enhancer is just super fabulous. Um, one of my favorite tools for sure, but there's the before color enhancer and there's after. You can see I've really popped those warm colors. I think the sky looks great and I think we're getting there. Now, I like what I've done, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add a new adjustment layer and I'll do this a lot with adjustment layers and that is if I've gotten somewhere that I really like but I still wanna experiment, I'll go add a new adjustment layer and that's what I've done here. And I ended up deciding that I wanted to make a few more changes to the photo. So first I go into color and I'm gonna take orange and I'm gonna take the saturation down a little bit. So um, I just think some of the, and the luminance a tiny bit as well. I just think a little bit too much in those buildings. So let me show you the before and after. There's before and there's after. It's, it's, a, a, it's kind of minor um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it into just those buildings so I'm on paint. So I'm gonna come over here and just paint it in over here. Uh, because I don't want to impact the sky. I just kind of want to get some of these buildings uh, and maybe a little bit of that reflection there. Um, you can always check your mask by doing that. I think that more than covers what I was trying to do, so I'm gonna say okay. So now I feel like I have the color where I want it, but there's a few things I don't like about the photo. The first is I want to uh, do some negative structure to smooth out the sky and the water. That's just a personal preference. I just like smooth skies and water, so it's something I do a lot. You've probably seen it in many of my other videos. So I'm gonna go like a negative 48, 49, something high 40s, right? So something about like that. And all I'm doing, as I said, is just smoothing out. Uh, it's currently smoothing the whole photo, but what I'm gonna do is gonna say edit mask and say brush, and I'm just gonna erase it from the buildings because I don't wanna smooth the buildings. I like them to be kind of crisp. Um, all I wanna do is smooth out the water and the sky. So um, I'm gonna do this here and check my mask. Okay, it's not bad. It doesn't have to be exact. By the way, I just try to get it you know, pretty close. Um, something about like that I think looks fine. And so I've smoothed out the photo except for the buildings. I'm gonna say done. Although actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say brush and I'm gonna say mask and I'm gonna say copy because we're going to go do something different and that is I'm going to go into details enhancer next and add detail to the building. So I'm going to go like a 25 or 30 here on medium details. There we go. Something about like that. That's currently impacting the whole photo. So I'm going to say edit mask brush and I'm going to say mask paste. So now that's pasting those details into the sky and water which I don't want. So I'm going to come over here and say mask invert. And now if I look at the mask you can see I've painted that um, detail enhancer just into the buildings. And I'm gonna come over here and raise that a little bit more. And that just crisps up the buildings while sort of um, I've softened the sky and the water. So at this point, I'm really finished with the photo except for a few spots that I need to go clean up. And I'm not gonna go into that here because it's really just using the eraser. I've got a video there that shows you how to use the eraser in case that's new to you. but. Very simple and straightforward workflow. I was able to take a, uh, basically a post uh, sunset kind of blue hour, heavily blue and dark kind of photo and turn it into something 
much more lively, vibrant, and sunset-ish. Um, and that was really something I like to do a lot with my blue hour and twilight kind of photos, is give them some of that kick of sunlight and warm them up a little bit because they're very blue. And um, as you may know from previous videos, the blue and the orange or blue and the yellow are, are opposite colors, so they're very complementary. So they go together quite well and our eyes tend to like that kind of look. And so it's another reason I wanted to bring it back because I liked it at blue hour to be honest. Um, and if it was a nighttime shot with a darker sky, darker water, and a lot of lights on and a lot of lights in the building, that would look really cool too because that'd be like a dark blue and a yellow. But it wasn't that dark out. The sky was still fairly bright. And even though it was blue hour and post sunset, so what I wanted to do is create more of a sunset look to accentuate kind of the blue and the gold, if you will. Anyway, those colors play nicely together. That's why I did it. And that was the look I was going for. I'm just gonna do my eraser cleanup to get some of these things out of the water. But that's it for the workflow and that's it for the video. My friends, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, boom, please do it. I would appreciate it very much. Don't forget, give me a big old thumbs up and tell YouTube you like my videos. That's very helpful to me. And it's a free way to give me a little bit of support because uh, the more people that like my videos, the more YouTube says, hey, I bet more people like these videos and they suggest them to other people. And that helps me a lot. So I appreciate it. And all it does is take you to go click uh, and you're all done. So that's it for that. And if you've got any feedback, by all means, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see you soon, friends. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care and adios.